I'm here at the CHP Academy in West Sacramento, where a new class of cadets is on their way to becoming officers. But before they can accept their new roles, they must first endure intense coursework, rigorous physical training, and let's not forget, driver's education. But this isn't your high school driver's ed course. This is the CHP's Emergency Vehicle Operations course. The importance of the, of the training is, is simple. No matter how far you go up in, the, in rank, the first thing you do is drive. This high-intensity maneuver teaches these cadets how to keep control of their vehicle on wet road conditions. Mastering this is a must to becoming a CHP officer. When we first get in there, it's very stressful. And you learn how to manage that stress through breathing, through just focusing, doing the techniques correctly. Not only do these cadets learn how to maintain command of their vehicle, they practice identifying the sounds of gunfire while driving and other highly skilled performance techniques. EVOC is certainly challenging. There's more to the training than just emergency vehicle operations. Cadets also must complete weapons and firearms training, arrest techniques, and undergo grueling physical fitness challenges. It's 28 weeks of very physical, mentally taxing, uh, and, and uh, demanding uh, training. And so we look for people that have the ability to uh, sort of, uh, you know, move through that at all phases of training. We also have an air operations program, motorcycle uh, enforcement, we have bicycle enforcement, uh, equestrian enforcement, so canines, we, all these different things you have an opportunity to uh, be able to go into. As you can see, becoming a CHP officer is not an easy task. Not only do these fine men and women keep our highways safe, but they are at times the first responders when disaster strikes. The California Highway Patrol has a very specific function, but at the same time, we rely on the resources that are provided to us by our allied agency partners. Uh, the fire agencies that we work with and, and the uh, Office of Emergency Services, all of those agencies play a part in our first responder role in providing this safety and security to the public. Whoa, whoa. So as you can see, these cadets have some challenges ahead of them, and we want to wish these first responders all the best on their new endeavors as they serve and protect the citizens of California.